Hello folks, welcome to AI vs. AI Magic. Um, this is the Esper Control vs. Turns um, matchup in the modern bracket we have here. And if you uh, want to subscribe to the channel for the future, there will be subscriber tournaments where you can earn prizes in real life. Um, free. Of, there's no entry fee, nothing like that. Um, it'll coming from me um i just thought it'd be something fun to do where you know if you don't want to play your deck or if you don't want to you know if you don't feel like you have the skills or just you don't want to you know play it or you just you know want to test out a list but you don't want to buy it yet basically you know you can go ahead and you can submit it to here and uh see how it does in a subscriber tournament um but yeah so this matchup is Control Mirror, as you can see, Esper versus uh, a Turns deck, which looks like to be a bunch of colors. Um, and the Turns deck I remember, because I'm a old modern person. It's kind of odd to say, but it's true. Um, back with you know Affinity and um, Turns was like a rogue deck that was I think mono blue, if I remember correctly. Maybe I. Maybe I'm wrong, but yeah, now we got all these evoke cards, and I'm just kind of clueless with what's going on. But, um, yeah. Solitude's getting in there against the turns deck. Um, I think the, uh, the favor is in the Esper Control deck's hand because they have, they look to be having more creatures, which I feel like in this kind of AI versus AI meta, um, that's going to be a big part of it, um, just, you know, combat and dealing a lot of damage, because I just think, because combo is odd, um, it doesn't really work in this meta, so that's kind of different. Um, control, as you can see, it's it's doing well, um, but I think the control decks will need to have, you know, some aggressive late game plans in order to, you know actually win the game. Um, just because AI versus AI, I mean, they're not going to be doing, you know, play-by-play -play specific combos or, you know, they're not really having, you know, a mind the game <laughs> as a control deck usually does, so. I'm not saying that aggro is the only thing. Looks like the first game is going to go to Esper Control. But uh, I'm not saying that aggro is the only um, viable thing viable deck type in the in this meta um, but uh, it has been doing the best along with from what we've seen so far at least so just something to keep in mind when we do the subscriber tournaments I'm not saying don't submit a control deck but maybe have it a little bit different than you know a typical list I'd say kind of focus it more on you know how the AI would play it successfully. Anyways, we got another Solitude out, Lightning Bolts. Um, Solitude's kind of crazy. It's like a free exile. Interesting. Yeah, Modern Horizons 2. People say, I, I saw that it's like one of the most best selling sets of, of Magic of all time, so there's a time warp. I get to see a turn thing. Or might I just missed other ones? Let me know. <laughs> uh, there's a 0 3 crab token with no image. Um, I'll fix that. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see if I remember. But yeah, this one's kind of stalling. Looks like. And the turn deck isn't really doing much, just besides playing lands and extra turns. <laughs> Now it's going to be the Esper Control deck, flashing back Inquisition of Cosluck, playing that. Don't know what it exactly took out, um, but it is what it is. I'm using the program called Forge, so um, for the AI versus AI stuff, or series, or channel, whatever you want to call it, 
Um, so yeah, I, I just think that this is the best program that, to use the AI for because it allows bot versus bot stuff, and the AI is pretty actually pretty good compared to other bot um, programs. Looks like we're kind of stalled here. Um, I don't think a dwarf, a one-one dwarf, is going to do much. Um, I think it's going to do 17 life, and yeah, it's already gone to fire and ice. Cat is currently trying to walk on the microphone stand. So, it, or the microphone itself now. So, if that happens, then just ignore the pop if there is one. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyways, into solitude. And. Honestly, I think they should have just played that, to be honest. I don't know. I didn't see the play, so. <laughs> Again, I'm not really familiar with newer magic stuff, like newer modern, so. Um, trying to catch up, trying to look at, you know, gameplay videos on YouTube, just going to catch up and stuff, but I'm mainly a... I was mainly active in the modern stuff from like Valve or Zendikar, the Tarkir era, so. Another turn has been taken. But I don't think it's going to do much. Um, Transmogrify. Transmogrify. My bad. There's a Celestial Conolade, so it looks like. Oop, and Shark Typhoon has been countered by a Remand. There's going to be a lot of damage coming in from this Conolade. I, th I think that's how you say it. If I'm butchering that, my bad, but <laughs> yeah. We get in for four. And passing the turn to the turns deck. Bolts are doing well. Um, got the Esper Controller back deck down to seven. So it could be close here. Um, the dwarf token is doing work. Uh, activating the land yet again to attack in. Six to six. And we're going to draw, we're going to cycle, I mean, the tower. Let me know in the comments if you like my commentary. Hopefully I can get better. <laughs> or, well, I will get better with practice, but... Um, let me know if you prefer the videos without commentary, maybe with like instrumental calming music or something, or if you like the commentary, let me know. Uh, it just helps me, you know, make better videos with what I got. So yeah, one to five and it looks like the Conley is about to get in. Oh, never mind. That's the end of the turn. <laughs> Path to exile, getting rid of that dwarf token. I don't see a man land from them. We're in six, though. Uh, Cat almost just jumped on the microphone. That might be a theme throughout the series. <laughs> yeah, there's, it's going to become a 4 4. I'm guessing it's an attack in for the win. Yeah, so that was the match. Thanks for watching. We'll be back next time.